try something slightly different today. We're not looking at a song lesson. I'm going to review my fake inlay stickers that I've had on now for a year and a half. So I want to update you guys and let you know how, what my experience with them has been so far, the good and the bad. I'm also going to take them off and put some new ones on so you can see what it's like to take them off. And if there's stickiness, dirt, whatever, and how to deal with that. Right, if you want to know how to put them on, I've already done a video on that. So link in the description for the how to. Today, I'm just going to talk about my experience and change them. All right, so let's start with the good points. First of all, they look awesome. Uh, I've been doing tons of YouTube videos for you guys and I think they look pretty real, to be honest. Even when I'm doing close-ups on my finger style performances and things, they look very real, they look really nice. So, visually, awesome, you know. Uh, in terms of how they feel, you, can, you can't really feel them because they're so thin. You know, when you're pushing a string in, even when you're sliding around, you know, you don't really feel them, they don't come away from, from that, right? It's taken a very long time for them to for any bad things to kind of happen, to be honest with you. Another good thing is the price. They're not expensive at all. I don't think I even paid 10 pounds, including delivery, to get these stickers. Another great thing is they don't take that long to put on, right? Especially once you've done it a few times, you can actually do it in about half an hour. You know, get them on, take the other ones off, change the strings while you're at it, get the fretboard a clean, get the new ones on. It doesn't take very long. So the investment of time and money is very small and it looks great. So this is why I'm actually gonna put some more on. Um, today, I'm gonna put on these ones, the Doves, which I've used on my electric guitar. They're just smaller birds. Um, I found it's much nicer when they're smaller and less intricate. All right, on that note, let's move on to the more bad points. So as I said, my electric guitar has the smaller Dove stickers. And that's been on my electric for over a year now, and I've had no problems with that at all. I don't think they've, any of them have even come away in the slightest. Maybe one of them at a tiny bit. Sometimes they do come away on the corners, especially these more intricate ones, the bigger intricate ones I have here on the acoustic. Just every couple of months or so, maybe a tiny corner would come away, okay? You can get some very small, like, nail scissors or miniature scissors and just chop anything that comes away, just chop it off. And then on the symmetrical on the other side, you chop the same bit off so it still looks symmetrical, right? So I've had to do that a few times. Um, I would say I don't, I don't think that happened for the first three to six months. So my advice is to probably change them every six months, maybe stretch it to 12 months. Um, but again, it's only the intricate ones that come away uh, more often. Right. If you just have the smaller doves, or if you just had basic ones, like just circles, you know, I can't imagine you'd ever have problems with those. All right. So there's not much wrong with these. Uh, I think the worst thing is just not being able to clean the fretboard properly, because the dirt kind of clumps up around the edge of the sticker, and you can get a plectrum or something similar and sort of push the dirt away and and sort of blow it off. Right. So you can take the strings off, clean your fretboard everywhere but the stickers and then you push away the dirt with a, a pick or something. It's not really ideal, okay, and, and it's a little annoying when you've got these big intricate stickers to, you try not to push the sticker off whilst you're trying to get the dirt off. So that's another reason why I want some smaller ones on. But again, I've had these on for a year and a half and they've been pretty good. I'd give them maybe like an eight out of 10 just because of those few bad points, the kind of dragging it down. So now I'm going to I want to put some new strings on, so I'm going to cut the strings and I'm going to take the stickers off and hopefully the camera will pick up how much dirt is there, <laughs> but uh, I want to hopefully be able to clean it easily. I know some of you are interested, is it going to be all sticky and hard to clean once you take them off? So we'll take a look at that and then I'll get the new ones on, we can see what they look like as well. Remember if you want to know how to put them on, I'm not covering that today, that's in a different video so just click the link in the description for that. For those of you that want to take your playing to the next level, make sure you sign up to my premium membership website. You'll gain access to all my backing tracks, all of my lessons, and I'll teach you how to improvise, solo, and play advanced chords. Enjoy the rest of your lesson, guys. All right, as you can see, guys, this one has actually caused me the most trouble because 
some of this has come away. Um, a lot of the time I just get small scissors and I just chop to make them symmetrical, but I sort of gave up on this one. So I'm going to pull it away and we'll see what is underneath. All right, so you can see how much kind of dirt has sort of gathered around the outline there. So I'm just going to have a little go at clearing it away with um, a cloth and a pick also. All right, as you can see guys, I only had to wipe with just a dust cloth um, for, I don't know, 20 seconds and most of that's come away. So it feels very smooth, nothing there. So very happy with that, that's a good sign. I'm gonna now do the rest of them too. All right, this is before I've cleaned it, so you guys can sort of see. There's just a bit of dirt underneath, particularly on the, the ones that I've pushed in when I've played over. The ones at the end, there's like pretty much nothing there to clean. So I'm just gonna give this a clean with the cloth and get all of this gunk off. All right, the stickers are off, guys. As you can see, I've just wiped it down with a basic dust cloth nothing else and i've got all of the dirt off the fretboard needed a bit of a clean anyway so this is all good so this is good news this means that the stickers don't leave behind anything that kind of stains or gets stuck on it it's all good all right here we go guys i've got the new in the stickers on now looking pretty snazzy i like them i did like the gold before because it matched the gold tuning pegs but at least the the part that is sort of real inlay kind of matches this new style which is pretty cool all right guys i've got the brand new strings on now so here's what they look like with the strings oh, new strings always sound so nice don't they so i'm super happy with these i don't know what you guys think uh, i actually prefer them to the gold ones now interestingly um, hopefully, because as I said, the intricate ones are a little bit more difficult, um, I'm hoping that these ones kind of last longer, cause less issues, easier to clean, you know, all that kind of thing. By the way, you do tend to have spares left over. I've got four here, spare, so, you know, unless you have a really crazy amount of frets, you're going to have some spare ones, which is nice. So if something goes wrong, you put it in the wrong place and you have to take it off and you ruin it, then at least there's a couple that you could put on in, in place of it. It might not look as good as the original, you know, ordering of the stickers, but at least there are some spares if something goes wrong. So I do like that about them as well. Um, but also, you know, it's so cheap to buy them that you could always buy two sets. And then if something goes wrong, you've got another set. Um, if nothing goes wrong, then you still have another set to replace them in six months, right? One thing I forgot to mention earlier, guys, is sometimes when you put them on new, there seems to be this extra layer sort of on top of the stickers, like a very clear, tiny, thin layer. Sometimes that comes away, but you can just peel it off and it, it sort of makes no difference to the sticker. So, you know, if that happens to you, don't panic, you just kind of peel it away. It doesn't seem to make a difference. So if you found this lesson helpful in any way, guys, please give it a thumbs up or a like. It'll help me out so much. Uh, and subscribe if you want to. Hit that notification bell icon too. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.